What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Red or Not because they just sent me an exclusive look at an upcoming update. Yeah, for those of you that haven't seen my previous video, towards the end there in a Discord chat, the community manager, Kaminsky, said that he was going to send me something on Monday. Of course, Monday came and went and the email didn't show up. It showed up about a day later, a day late and a dollar short. But I guess it really didn't matter because the email said that I wasn't able to really talk about it until the 13th. I mean, I didn't sign a contract or anything, but you know, I like to keep things professional with these types of things. But now, that it's the 13th i'm able to talk about it let's just go ahead and hop into it because i definitely have a lot to say exclusive ready or not integrates mod.io support ready or not the acclaimed tactical first person shooter is integrating mod.io starting october 18th 2022 void interactive's hit game ready or not a well-known name on steam's top rated action games category with more than 57 positive reviews promises an experience packed with exciting new gameplay visual and audio updates official mod support in game for players starting October 18th 2022 that makes me wonder if we're actually gonna get a supporter update with new stuff here's hoping Ready or now will provide players with the official mod support showcasing fantastic content made by our community which can be downloaded in game powered by mod.io delivery of mods via an in-game menu puts creator content at the heart of the game starting with existing fan favorite maps and mods we're excited to see and share more creator content mod.io is the leading platform user generated content UGC, solution for game studios and publishers. Since launching in 2019, Mod.io has delivered nearly 2 million mods for over 120 games to players across PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, Mobile, and VR. Mod.io offers an automated, scalable, easy to implement platform designed for all studios seeking to harness UGC in their game. The results are long-term player engagement and cross-platform pathway to creator economies. Created by the team, behind mod db really i had no idea mod.io brings more than 20 years of experience to the game developers seeking to unlock their community's creativity so join our ranks at ready or not and start your unforgettable journey as a member of our swat squad so that's pretty much the email there overall i'm pretty indifferent about this update because my first encounter with mod.io was when i got introduced to it in insurgency sandstorm downloading these mods are a pain in the ass like i'll literally be sitting there just waiting for the damn thing to download and it could take anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour were it not for these downloads i probably would have recommended this mod sooner but yeah if you could get past the downloading part then it's pretty good the download kind of affects people in a different way for some it'll be long for some it'll be relatively short and i believe it's because you get put in like this waiting system where it says that your download is pending so you're waiting for the next guy in line to actually download his freaking mod because they have like some sort of deal with mod.io i believe that's what it's called like bro how come they couldn't just do steam workshop it's like bruh the download is so bad that it's kind of hard for me to recommend but the mod is so good it's ah i hated it the downloads took forever and anytime that i needed to update one of the mods i'd have to stop the game and just sit there until the update was done i thought it was going to be one of those things where the update would happen in the background and i wouldn't have to wait but that's not at all what happened from anybody that i actually talked to about mod.io they did not have a very good experience with it in insurgency sandstorm but to be fair from what i'm told a lot of people who have actually used that third party system with a different game they say that insurgency's implementation of it was actually a pretty bad implementation now i don't know if that's true or not i haven't actually tested it for myself because i don't know what games mod.io are with but i'm hoping that it's not as bad as insurgency sandstorm's implementation of it because it felt very rushed to me so i guess we'll have to see when this gets implemented but the reason why they're actually doing this most likely is because they eventually want to get the game to go to console this system would just make it easier for console players to actually download mods onto their system without having to go to like a website like the nexus or you know something like that but what kind of scares me about this is that the implementation of this might mean no steam workshop now i have no confirmation of this yet i hope that's not the case because i think that that would suck i would actually prefer to get my mods from steam workshop than using mod.io because i just had like a really bad experience with it during the insurgency sandstorm days but who knows maybe their implementation will be better i don't know maybe void interactive is more competent about that type of thing i guess we'll see but uh uh, yeah that's pretty much all i really got supposedly there's supposed to be a dead block today but if it's just the same thing then it's like whatever 
I think they said that they were going to be releasing a video also. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty indifferent about this update. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts? Tell me down in the comments below and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.